Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Aaron Parsegian. First tonight, Benton Harbor's water crisis is still creating challenges for the people living there, including those among its youngest population. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly explains how the city's school district is adapting and how another community is helping out. Imagine trying to keep several hundred students from using a drinking fountain. It's a difficult task, but one part of the daily routine at Benton Harbor area schools. The district superintendent says in recent weeks they ramped up efforts to keep students safe, which includes relying on volunteers like those in Allegan County. Loading up cases of bottled water. Students and staff work alongside one another Wednesday in Allegan. It's just the right thing to do. Their efforts, part of a week-long water drive the area's educational service agency launched in support of their counterparts in southwest Michigan. And I said, you know, we need to do something for Benton Harbor. I know they are not in our service area but they are our neighbors to the south. Earlier this month, the state recommended people living in Benton Harbor no longer use tap water after testing showed high lead levels in the city supply. People there no longer able to do simple tasks like drink, cook, or brush their teeth without opening up a bottle. A difficulty only amplified in school, says AESA Superintendent Bill Brown. First thing that came to mind was how do you continue to have school when you're trying to prepare lunches, have drinking fountains, when students cannot access water? In just three days, the district collected more than 1,000 bottles and $300 in donations. It's kind of like that karma, do good for them, maybe if we're ever in crisis, they can help us. Dr. Andre Townsell, Benton Harbor Superintendent says it's efforts like that that help keep their schools stay open. It was just one community coming together solving the problem. Townsell says when the issue first arose in 2018, the district started to utilize bottled water and filters and tested all of their pipes, shutting off the ones with elevated results. Following the state's announcement, those measures ramped up and they decided to check the pipes once again. Water is a key element to just life in general. Um, even plants need water, uh, but we talk about human beings and safety and security and nutrition. It's important. It's a stress no district should experience, but one, Townsville says, that won't stop Benton Harbor's work. We don't wish it was easier. We wish that we're better. We don't wish for less challenges. We wish for more skill. We don't wish for less problems. We wish for more wisdom. And with that in mind, we just approach it and respond accordingly. Now, Dr. Townsell says he should be able to share the results of that second round of lead testing within the district's buildings later this week. If people would like to help Allegan Educational Services with their water drive, donations can be dropped off at their headquarters. We have more information on that at Fox 17 Online. Dot com. Reporting in the newsroom, Marisa Overly, Fox 17.